Let's kick things off in Wisconsin. Now, I like Wisconsin. Wisconsin in the building, I like Wisconsin. Wisconsin, Wisconsin the only place I've been to that sells cheese as a souvenir. I like that. <laughs> You want some cheese before your flight? Yeah. <laughs> cheese curds? You gave me cheese curds. No wrapper, no nothing. Just butt naked in my hand. <laughs> but last night, Wisconsin had a critical election for the state Supreme Court, which has national implications for 2024. They had a far-right conservative versus a very left-wing liberal, and I don't want to presume anything about the political beliefs of the audience in the room right now, you know. <laughs> I know Daily Show fans hold a wide variety of views. <laughs> ah, who am I kidding? Y'all can go and start clapping. Show them the clip. Steady a major political tip in Wisconsin. Democrat back Judge Janet Protasewicz has won the state's widely watched Supreme Court race. The court will now be controlled by liberals for the first time in 15 years. Protasewicz's conservative opponent, Dan Kelly, had harsh words after the election was called and criticized her, calling her a serial liar. I wish that in a circumstance like this, I would be able to concede to a worthy opponent. But I do not have a worthy opponent to which I can concede. This was the most deeply deceitful, dishonorable, despicable campaign I have ever seen run for the courts. And I wish Wisconsin the best of luck, because I think it's going to need it. Oh, you seem very sad about losing. Would you like some cheese? <laughs> now, now, look. People think that it's classless to concede like this, but I'm gonna be straight up with y'all. Good for my man. Dude just got his ass beat in front of the whole country and you want him to be gracious? <laughs> Congratulations to my opponent, who is clearly a winner, unlike me, a little bitch loser. <laughs> Look, I say as long as you accept the outcome, you get to talk shit. Yeah, you let me spend millions running, and running for judge and then I lose? I run millions and I lose. Oh, baby, I'm up on that podium like Samuel L. Jackson. Yes, they deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell! <laughs> but now, let's move on to the big story. The arrest of Donald J. Trump. <laughs> oh, you heard about it. Y'all heard about it? Okay, I thought it was just a little under, you know, a little... Yesterday was a momentous day for Donald J. Trump. He was indicted for 34 counts of falsifying business records and also one count of clogging the courthouse toilet. They added that one at the last minute. <laughs> so old Trumpy went down to the courthouse, looked around stupid for a couple of minutes, then <laughs> fled on his private jet to Florida because, as you all know, Florida does not have an extradition treaty with the United States. <laughs> he rolled up to Mar-a-Lago and then he waved to his supporters and then offered to put his thumb up their butt. <laughs> what is this? Seriously. What, who adds motion to a thumbs up? It's simple. Just lock the elbow. Trump, Trump got to be the first person to add the jerk off motion to a thumbs up. Thanks so much for coming out. I really appreciate it. Wow. So then, after all of that, it was time for Trump to give his big speech. And sidebar, why are people still going to Trump's speeches? Like, I get it, I get it, that's your dude, but you know what he gonna say. He said, Donald Trump is a comedian that ain't changed his act in years. <laughs> you know what he gonna do. Liberal media be doing this, <laughs> and Joe Biden, Joe Biden and them, they be doing this. The only thing that changes year to year with Trump is who his enemy is. And for this fight, he's got two new ones. In a defiant speech at Mar-a-Lago, the former president claimed he's a victim and targeted the prosecutor and judge in the case. They can't beat us at the ballot box, so they try and beat us through the law. The criminal is the district attorney. I have a Trump-hating judge with a Trump-hating wife and family. go to trial and talk shit about the judge. <laughs> That's 
that's bold. The judge could destroy you. He could destroy you and you riling him up. You about to fight cocaine bear. You don't offer him crack first. <laughs> and he didn't just call out the judge. Trump called out the kids. The ki you don't pull the kids into Even rappers don't go after the kids and they murder each other. And, and Trump said the man has a Trump-hating wife. But to be fair, to be fair, I don't even know if that was an insult because <laughs> Donald Trump also has a Trump-hating wife. <laughs> you, know, you can't tell me Melania don't hate that man. If anything, this week was confirmation. If y'all think Trump... Let me, let me ask you this thing. During Donald Trump's 45 minutes as a political prisoner, where was his wife? So many people noticed the former first lady, the former president's wife, Melania Trump, was not in attendance last night. His wife, former first lady Melania Trump, she was not there. Among the guests were ardent Trump supporters, including Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene and the My Pillow founder Mike Lindell. One person noticeably absent last night was former first lady Melania Trump. Even the pillow salesman showed up for the speech. <laughs> but his own wife didn't show up. And the speech was at the house. <laughs> Melania didn't even come downstairs. She just, she opened up the bedroom door. Oh, you're back from prison already. Oh. <laughs> now look, we're making jokes. We're making jokes. But there's nothing funny about a former first lady not showing up to her husband's speech where he's complaining about getting arrested for lying about paying off a porn star. <laughs> Frankly, I'm concerned about Melania's whereabouts, so we launched a search for her, and that search is being headed by our very own Dulce Sloan. Dulce! <laughs> Dulce. Yes, we, we are we are very poor, Dulce. Now, I mean, working. You down there on the coast? Are there any signs of Melania down there? Oh, not yet. You know, I've been looking for her at the beach all day, and after this, I'm going to look for her at brunch, and then I might go look for her at the front row of a Magic Mike show. You know, I'm vigilant. <laughs> you know, vigil antsy out here. Hey, yeah. Ain't the Magic Mike show in Las Vegas? I think you're taking advantage of the corporate expense account. We'll talk about that later. But, but first, let's, let's just, while I got you, let's just talk about this whole thing. Don't you think that Melania should leave Donald Trump? I mean, the man was paying hush money to porn stars. Roy, Roy, Roy. <laughs> you don't understand, son. The hush money was for Melania. <laughs> She's the reason he didn't want people to know about Stormy Daniels. Shit, if he wasn't married, his campaign slogan would have been a f porn stars. Bah, 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 bah. Okay. God. Okay. Bef before Melania, he paid a porn star a hundred and thirty thousand dollars. Oh. To know a love like that, oh. Okay. You know, I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of romantic for a man to just break bread like that for okay, you. Okay, okay, I got you. So then, so then you think Melania should stay with Donald? No. <laughs> he cheated on her with a porn star. Come on, I've dumped men for a lot less. I broke up with a guy last week because he left me a voicemail. <laughs> a voicemail, sir? What year do you think this is? Just leave a comment on my TikTok. Adult, Grandpa. <laughs> okay, so I see what you're saying. So then you think Melania should have dumped Trump back in 2016? Gotcha. Oh hell no! Listen, Uncle Roy, are you listening? <laughs> Why would she dump him when he just got elected El Presidente? You cheat on me, you think I'm gonna let some porn star be the first lady? What the hell no? <laughs> nah, bitch, I'm getting a portrait, okay? <laughs> a real one with paint and shit, okay? <laughs> Okay. I'm talking about a canvas.
Mr. Easel, and we gonna sit there for seven hours and look happy, damn it. Okay. <laughs> Go in every which way to indulge. Say, just tell me, what the hell should Melania do then? She should be doing what she been doing. Take advantage of Trump when he's president, and when he's not, let his ass twist in the wind while you at home watching Martin reruns and banging these pool boys. <laughs> Okay. I mean, she's doing it at Mar-a-Lago right now. Wait, so you know where she is. Well, then why are you running up an expense account on my week? What you... What? This is my week hosting, and you running up the bill with all this travel. Come on. Wow. This is how you treat a black woman? That's not... In that's not April? No, no, that's not how I meant it. Black that's, women's that's, history, Mom? No, 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 no. That's not how I meant it. Wow. That's not how I meant it. Wow. That's not how... No, 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 no. Let me... No, let me, I should be let, out let, here with a tail far bag and, a, and more checks nut, and you out here trying to act like I'm not doing my job. You know what? I'm gonna get on my jet ski. I ain't got to do with you. I ain't got to do none of this. Where's my jet ski? Don't say slow on everybody.